Engine pressure rising. Begin manual ventilation. It's no use. We need to do it in the right order, or we're doomed. Wobs, you were sinking, and now you be falling out of the sky. I marvel at your spontaneity. I'll marvel you, Tricorn Jerk. How could you wail on their ship like that when me and Kataro were still inside? <laughs> Watch my <laughs> ah, This bodes ill, me hearties. Lady Luck has cheated, old Captain Gaff. Why? What's the problem now? Crab Claw Cove be a night impenetrable fortress. The outer cliffs repel even the tallest ship, whilst the castle walls above deter the most able climber. And let's not even speak of the twisted trail that leads to the peak or the countless cannons to thwart our progress. Aye, we'll have a hard time extracting those scallywags now. Great. We basically have no way of going after them. Ah, ha, ha. I said no impenetrable, but Captain Gaff knows the ins and outs of his oldest mistress. <laughs> Observe. Now that's a big gun. I calls him Long Tom. He can reach so far up the island, she won't know what air. Now we're talking. Let's unload on that beach like there's no tomorrow. Kudaro, this be a two-man job. Kindly assume the position. Huh? Wait a second. You're not gonna... Fire! Kudaro rocketed out of the cannon with a deafening roar and hurtled towards Crabclaw Cove at obscene speed. This is so not cool. Ah, Crabclaw Cove. The... The claw-shaped island was once home to a fearful band of... Aren't you the cutest little Krabby Wabby? Uh, a fearful band of Krabby oh, Wabbies and... So oh, would you that. stop confusing me? A fearful band of pirates in the service of Captain Gaff. That was until Generals Pig and Sheep moved in. Arena, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to steal back the Moonstone Shards from Agents Pig and Sheep. This message will self-destruct in... Ow! Oh, hot! Huh. Smooth. Stump. 
Doesn't it look like an octopus? Banana peels. Can't pig and sheep pick up after they eat? <laughs> Little did she know the banana peels were a trap. Oh my gosh, do you think? Good thing you warned us. Ugh. The grey pipes plastered all over Crabclaw Cove's inner sanctum made it look like it was designed by some sort of wacko steampunk marine biologist. Welcome to Hotel World Domination. Yes, this is where pig and sheep built their sub. How did those klutzes do it? They didn't. You see, the Moonbear King had another general, one slightly more adroit when it came to matters of a technological nature. But it was a rhetorical question. Between the cannonballs, crumbling paths, heaps of swords, and falling powder kegs, the fortress of Crab Claw Cove had proven to be a tough wench to tame. Wasn't this Captain Gas place? You'd think he'd have built an easier way in. Copy. 
Enemy operatives have breached the CCC. Take Robocrab Mark 1 and eliminate them before it's too late. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, since when are they the good guy? Sorry, I sort of nerd out around robots. Okay, can we get on with it? Crabclaw Cove was where the generals had stashed their most amazing secret weapon yet. Kutaro was in for it now. <laughs> the fools marched right into Robo Crab's lair. Yes! Weak point exposed! You know what to do! Stance rectifiers. I can't! He's not a fiddler crab! Ventral hatch death cheese snow crabbing! Bounce the legs! Hurt in the legs! Engage flight mode! Roger! Engaging Robo Crab flight mode! You don't play fair! Oh, that is so unfair! Fear not, Robo Crab! You can still stop him with a tractor beam! Roger! Activating tractor beam! <laughs> We've got you now! Fear not, Robo Crab. You can still stop him with a tractor beam. Roger! Activating tractor beam! <laughs> oh, no! She's got me now! Fire erupted from the primary engine. Danger, Will Cravenson! Danger! Stay on him! I don't care if we have to drag pig and sheep out of the flaming wreckage! Someone was cutting through the thick plumes of smoke and closing in on Robo Crab fast. That's right, it was Kutaro, slashing furiously with a mighty calibre. This the robot best. was expensed! Stay no. away! Oh, oh. Ah! How dare ye sunder me precious robot! Now's my robot. chance to what up that squiffy and claim the reward for himself! <laughs> I'll tear ye limb from limb! How did ye block that, ye swab? Ah! Oh, have a taste of me six pounder! <laughs> oh, yeah! Dodge this! Ah, me precious cannon! Ahoy! Is it that? The self-destruct button! Oh, oh my ah! Ah! Way to go, Katara! Giant enemy crab defeated! And look! Moonstone! Sweet! Two shards in one go! What lovely fireworks! Each a flower of spots growing in the garden 
of our hearts. Don't you think, Captain? Ah! But who has time for flowers in the sky? <laughs> when the flowers below be of such varicose beauty. Oh. Tis you that I wish to pluck tonight, oh. my amour. <laughs> and thus ends our tale of how the fetching moon witch and brave Captain Gaff found true love and lived happily ever after. The end. How dare you write an ending without me? This is my story. Curse you all. I'll teach you to make a fool of me. All of you. Especially you, Kutaro. I'll string you up if it's the last thing I do. It seems the Moon Bear King wasn't quite ready to live happily ever after. No, he still had lots of unhappiness to go round. With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound.